What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my car, my baby. I decided that it's a smart decision to film outside when it's getting dark and it's raining and there's lots of cars going past. So yeah, that was a good decision. is all about the 10 songs that changed my life that affected me in some way there's another car coming oh wait basically if i hadn't had heard these songs my life would be very different some of them are kind of dumb they're kind of just they've changed everyone's lives in some way you know what i mean they're just banging songs but some songs they just have stories behind them i have memories connected to them and if i hadn't had heard these songs definitely wouldn't be here today so let's begin the first song that changed my life completely is man in the mirror by michael jackson of course the one and only king of pop there will be no other king of pop Man on the Mirror is literally the first memory I have of music. It's the first song that I remember listening to. I don't know what the first song I heard is ever, but it's the first song I ever properly listened to and fell in love with. And it's just, it changed my life, man. It changed my life. After that, I was obsessed with Michael Jackson, and I still am to this day. Hate me if you want, but I don't care what you say. Michael Jackson is the king of pop, and there will be no other. Thank you very much. Goodbye. This might be a little bit of a bonus one, but I just remember watching the Moonwalker movie. Oh my god. If anyone has seen that movie, please comment down below, because I'm the only person that I know ever to have watched this movie there's a plot in there but then it's mixed between all of michael's different music videos and right at the end the plot all comes together it's a happy ending and then michael goes on stage and performs come together which obviously is a beatles song but low-key i prefer michael's version please don't kill me any beatles fans i love the beatles it's just ridiculous and the guy He's holding like a, a friggin' what's it called? He's holding like a piano over his shoulder and he's not even playing the thing. He's just standing there posing. <laughs> How can you not just wanna bop to this song? Then again, I think Billie Jean is also one of the first Michael Jackson songs that I ever listened to and that's a pretty iconic song. <laughs> I cannot believe I got that on time. <laughs> the next song is Lose Yourself by Eminem. I chose this song because I just have such a faint memory of just hearing the- I just hear the, the chugging. <laughs> Everything you ever wanted. from my childhood somewhere like inside my memory box we had and we still have xbox arcade probably one of the first xboxes ever made every time you turn it on music would start playing and it would be like the playlist that we had on there and we had lose yourself on there and i just remember turning on the xbox to play rocky legends or to play shrek because that's where my life was at and i would hear that song every time it somehow just got ingrained in my head i don't know who it was back then i just fell in love with it oh, it's so beautiful Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity, seize everything you ever wanted, one moment. Already the next song on the list is Natural Mystic by Bob Marley. I love this song. When I was younger, me and my dad used to go swimming three days a week. That's right. 
three days a week i know it's crazy and that could never be me now but when we did i always have this fondest memory we never had aux or bluetooth anything like that in the car so after school my dad would pick me up whack on a bob marley cd and that's all we'd be listening to and the very first track is natural mystic and he would blast it and when i say blast it i mean he would pull the volume all the way up just to annoy me i love it it's such a good song <laughs> This is definitely a song that really got me into reggae. Oh, I love it, man. I love the vibe. Bob Marley is amazing. All right, the next song, we're kind of jumping again. It's Black Parade by My Chemical Romance, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I had to put this in there because it was genuinely the first ever rock song that I ever heard and I scared myself. I was like, what? I like rock music? What? I like the devil's music. So I was in a Facebook forum for Dan and Phil and people were just trying to make internet friends you know find common interests and i saw this one post and it said i'm into all of these bands and then it had loads of different acronyms and i was like what is this the very first one was mcr so obviously i'm just going to google that that's the first song that came up so it was the first song i listened to next song is never too late by three days grace is a cover on my channel <laughs> got into this song it was also the favorite song of my best best friend Alex and we just both love this band so much we bonded so much over this band and this song it's also a song that just really helped me through like GCSEs and, and exam I absolutely loved this band and I still do but the lead singer is gone now we also have I'm a mess by Ed Sheeran because it's the very very first song that I ever learned on guitar and I'm not gonna lie I don't remember it but <laughs> was so proud of myself once I learned that song and I didn't even know what chords were you know what the notes were I just copied someone playing it and I managed to do it and I just picked it up somehow so that's definitely a song that changed my life completely a mess right now inside out another song we have is all along the watchtower which is a song by Jimi hendrix the man the god himself the best guitarist ever like don't even chat to me and as soon as i heard it i loved it and that was when I started listening more to Jimmy and I thought, wow, like I really need to get on this level. <laughs> no one can even come close, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Jumping just a little bit again. I did want to include a song that is kind of random. It has no special meaning. It's just banging. Natural Born Killers by Ice Cube. It made me fall in love with rap all over again. Like recently, in, in the last few years, for so many years, I was just listening to rock and metal. Like with many songs, uh, my dad showed me this. <laughs> as soon as I heard it, I was like, yes, I'm down for this. I'm here for this music. This is finally where my mom's music taste come in. She showed me Queen 
and obviously Bohemian Rhapsody changed my life. Whose life did it not change? It was one of the first like longest songs to be played on the radio and all the sections in it, I mean come on. It's iconic for a reason and we all know it for a reason. The final song is a song that, yeah, my dad's shown me and yeah, my mom likes, but it is a song that I kind of discovered on my own a little bit. Although I did steal my dad's CD so I can listen to it in the car. Killing Me Softly by the Fugees. When it came out, it was like nothing anyone's heard of before. I genuinely just think it's such a beautiful song and the fact that there is, you know, a lead female in there, it really motivated me to believe that I could do whatever I wanted to do. I absolutely love rap sort of music and rock and those two genres. You don't really see many female leads. So whenever I do see one that I adore, that I love, I gotta snatch it up quickly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it was a chill vibe between me and you. You know, it's kind of like we chilling in the car with each other, listening to some music. Please let me know what songs changed your life, or what songs have affected you, and tell me why as well. I really want to know. And if you've made it to this point in the video, comment down any one of the music emojis because I want to confuse some people. And I also want to see who's made it this far. If you have, then you are real one. Drop a like and subscribe because you will receive videos from me every single Wednesday and I will see you in the next one. Bye! There's just people everywhere and cars everywhere. Mm. Oh my god, there's another car.